Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's Jasmine Lee here for those of you who don't know me. And today's video is a continuation of my self-love series. So it's day two, even though this may not be posted on the 2nd of February because it just, it just won't. Be patient with me. I appreciate y'all in advance and these videos, 14 of them will get done. Regardless when they get put out, 14 will get done. I'm holding myself accountable to that. So anyway, today's video is about expectations, boundaries, and standards, um, what they are, and basically like what they do, what they're for, how they help you. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and stay tuned. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Okay, so first I want to get into what standards are. Standards are just your minimum requirements, just the basic set of rules that you have. For instance, in Think Like a Man, Megan Good's character mentioned that she doesn't date guys who don't open the door for her. It's open. It's open. I don't go out on dates with guys who don't open the door for me. Really? Really. Seriously? Yes. Oh man. No, he didn't. That is a standard. Boundaries, on the other hand, are the limit of what you would consider to be acceptable. So standards are just your bare minimum, the rules for yourself. The boundaries are basically helping you enforce a standard. So they play off of each other in that way. Now, where things tend to get tricky is expectations. Now, expectations are exactly what they sound like it's the feeling or belief that you have that something will or should happen in the way that you expect so expectations can be kind of problematic because oftentimes outside of the context of like a job or school expectations aren't always talked about especially in like dating friendships and any of our interpersonal dealings we often just expect that people know how to treat us that they know what to say in certain situations or that they know what to do and how to show up for us so the reason expectations i wouldn't say they're problematic all by themselves the reason that they're problematic to me personally and um a lot of things that you'll read up online about it is that they're not communicated like verbally they're not talked about so that's where they become like an issue like let's say for instance you have a high standard of any man that you deal with because maybe your father spoiled you and doted on you hand and foot and he made sure that you were like just feeling like a princess everywhere you go now when you get out into the world your expectation is that men are going to treat you that way and when they don't you don't deal with it well because of your expectation is up here never mind the fact that everyone didn't grow up in the household never mind the fact that everyone doesn't have the kind of father that you had the dynamics are always different so just know that your expectations are colored by based on your perception they're not even reality they're literally just something you make up in your head and that you project outwards onto someone else and that's really not fair so that's why technically if you can help it you want to keep your expectations minimal or keep them non-existent if you can help it now if you're comfortable communicating an expectation from and it needs to be from day one like you can't sprinkle expectations as you go expectations have to be communicated off top that way that person can decide if they can meet the expectation or gracefully bow out that's the only fair way to go about it now where standards come in since that's the minimum requirement that you need your boundary will help you enforce a standard by basically making a um, rule for you to honor a certain requirement so for instance if you don't want to date men with children like your minimum requirement is that like for whatever family you want to plan you decide that you don't want to date men with kids because you want to be the first baby mama and prayerfully the only baby mama right your boundary is that you wouldn't date men with kids because that helps you enforce the standard for yourself that you don't want to be the fourth baby mama or it's a summer walker <laughs> standards are very much internal standards are basically just how you view based on how you view yourself could have been based on how you how you um, how you're used to being treated standards are basically just how you kind of like love on you your boundary is how you protect yourself so for instance if you want to think of it in like scientific terms your uh, standard I'm sorry your boundary is your cell wall right 
So that's the external part of a cell, like in science class. Your mitochondria is your heart. Your boundaries are put in place to protect your heart and reinforce your standards, um, which in this case will probably be the membrane, if that's the soft jelly part of the cell. So um, that's how they all work together. It's really not that complicated. Boundaries also just help you build up your self-confidence and your self-worth. If you're feeling low, then you may need to tighten the reins. You, need, you may need to reevaluate your standard and figure out like what it is you will and won't tolerate. And then the boundary will help you decide like basically to vet people and vet things and situations that you will and won't, won't deal with. For instance, um, a boundary and a standard I have is that I would like to be in a stress-free work environment. Now, when I say stress-free, I'm not meaning stressful in the sense of my job. I mean all the extra stuff that you don't sign up for, like the people being messy or just unnecessary stressors. Every job has some degree of stress, but there's a certain degree of stress that you sign up for versus the one that just comes with it out of nowhere. So for me personally, where I'm at in life and what I know I bring to the table, I don't want to be stressed out. It's a you thing. Like you have to know what you're worth, what you're capable of. Like standards do require a certain level of confidence at the like a bare minimum level of confidence. The boundary and the follow through because the boundary requires follow through in order to even matter. Your boundaries don't matter if you don't uphold them. And the really important thing that I've recently learned about boundaries because what I know is that I've always had them, um, but I maybe didn't keep them in force I maybe didn't stick by them and by me abandoning my boundary essentially I abandoned myself and so if you guys are anything like me um, where you're kind of coming into your own and you're growing into that just know that you don't want to when you think of it in those terms of possibly abandoning yourself you don't want to do that one thing I recently learned about this though is that you may have with with boundaries and standards obviously it requires some degree of a moral compass and every time you violate one of your own personal rules and your own morals you dissociate from yourself and it's really not in an extreme way to where you become schizo or you know where you just are losing it but it does create this part of you that feels disconnected and that doesn't feel like in alignment with yourself. So if you want to be in alignment with yourself, which is super important for you to be able to make really sound choices in your life in every area, you want to stick to the rules you set for yourself. But you also want to give yourself permission to change because as you grow, as you experience new things, your opinions are going to change. The way you might do things is going to change. Your um, desires will change. Like we're always, if you're, you know, interested in it, you're always growing and evolving and just becoming someone new. And so that brings me to another point, which I'm not going to elaborate on, but I do want to mention that's also a super important point is that because we're always evolving, it's important to, and I think although your boundaries and your standards is your business i think that for the sake of finding a love that's like solid and that can stand the test of time is to have room not only for yourself but for another person that you are in a relationship with you want to give them time to grow and develop and to, i'm sorry to develop <laughs> you want to give them time to grow and develop you want to give them space to explore themselves you don't want to be all up under somebody stifling their self-exploration because essentially you will grow apart from someone because you're fighting harder for you you're not you know it's no slight to the other person but you're going to fight harder for you it's not in a ruthless selfless kind of or i'm sorry ruthless or selfish kind of way it's just literally if it comes down to me having to choose between you and me it's going to be me every time i'm betting on me uphold your boundaries don't feel bad about implementing them if you feel a certain way and you think you should be treated a certain way talk to a certain way not talk to a certain way and not treated a certain way implement it and follow through follow through is the most important part of this because otherwise you're just blowing hot air and no one wants to do that because it makes you look weak 
and I'm not going to say it's easy because it's not. I've absolutely struggled with it. I've absolutely backtracked. I've absolutely been lenient more so than I'd like to. But you don't want to be so dogmatic about it because just like with real life rules, people have exceptions with them too. You still have to manage these things accordingly with a certain level of grace. You want to analyze the situation in its full scope so you can really get the layout of the land and what you're dealing with while you are handling people like you don't want to walk around with a sword like whoosh, you're cut because you're not doing this whoosh, you're cut because you said this like you don't want to do that <laughs> even though at first it feels that way and i'm speaking from experience i absolutely felt like i wanted to just go around with my little machete just cutting people off like left and right and to an extent i did um <laughs> but you want to do what's best for you your standards are not going to look like everybody else's and that's another thing that i want to say is a lot of times especially on the internet i see women mostly women men men don't even be talking about half these things but women um criticize each other for not having a certain standard um or not viewing herself in a certain light just because you feel your, view yourself in a certain light and you want to carry yourself in a certain way doesn't mean that fits for everyone again a lot of what um expectations boundaries and standards are influenced by is your upbringing it's your mood from day to day it's your view of yourself your confidence levels your inner motivation your drive like it's colored by so many things that you can't ignore the nuance of that and you can't make it black and white for everyone because it's not going to be black and white for everyone um give yourself grace if you backtrack and you backslide and you mess up don't beat yourself up. The boundary is still there. You can still implement it the next time. It's perfectly okay. Be forgiving with yourself and be gentle with yourself through the process of learning because that's really what it is. We're all learning. Um, this video is a lot shorter than I intended it for it to be, I think, hopefully, fingers crossed. <laughs> but if you guys enjoy these videos, which I really hope you do, Please make sure you comment and just let me know that you're enjoying it or that you're learning something because I would love to just see that I'm making an impact. I mean, a lot of times I don't care, but this is something that I've gotten increasingly passionate about because of how I've been hurt and it's been really hard to not shut down on like life, <laughs> um, not in the context of like nothing crazy because I know I have videos about that it's not been in that way it's just been I don't want to be overly guarded and so sometimes what helps me is just not feeling like not feeling alone in this like whatever whatever space I'm in and I know I'm not alone but um yeah if you guys have any questions comments or you know you just want to drop feedback feel free to do so in the comment section below and again thank you so much for watching thank you for supporting my channel if you are subscribed if you're not subscribed i hope i just gave you a reason and have a great night bye guys thanks for watching